everybody. <laughs> I'm Blythe Barbo with Barbolian Fields and I'm here to make a video about what you need to get ready for bees. We're getting our bees in, 15,000 of them, maybe 20, I don't know how many thousand. How do you count a bunch of bees in a package? How many bees in four pounds? That's what we're getting. And so uh, in anticipation, I am totally new at this, so I decided to put together a survival kit to help my bees. Now, first of all, um, we've got a bucket to put everything in because you want to be able to carry things out easily. And then we're going to dress for success. And I have a couple of different outfits in mind, depending on what your comfort zone is and uh, the season. The first one, we're going on the cheap here. Not that you want to skimp when you're dealing with bees, but sometimes being economical is a good idea. This here is a painting outfit. And it's pretty thin, as you can see. I'm pretty sure that any bee can poke his way through here, and it's uh, what you wear under it really depends on your comfort zone. But um, yeah, if you put this on, and allow me to demonstrate here, it goes on pretty simple, and you can throw it in the wash. Maybe I'll put this on, we'll see here, yeah. Okay, so we're starting to look like a beekeeper here because Bees don't like big dark objects, and I might be relatively small, but to a bee I'm pretty big size. And so what you want to look like, in Pooh Bear's term, is like a little fluffy white cloud. Just floating by. Don't mind me. There we go. Fluffy cloud material. I think this kind of works. But I did get another outfit too. Oh, before we put that away. Here's one of the kinds of helmets. Now this is just a mosquito netting helmet. Anybody can get one of these. They're cheap and they work. Yeah. And you can tighten this up under here. I think we're styling right now. This is dressing for success, eh? Okay. I've heard that it's recommended to put a hat on under here if you're a guy, especially a bald guy. But me, I have a lot of hair. I don't think they'll get through that. But I did get up something else here together. Now, excuse me while I just take this off. And we'll try this next outfit on for size. Okay. Dress for success. Outfit number two is my rain gear. Here in the Northwest, we all have rain gear. A pair of rain pants are pretty thick and they're kind of plastic coated and I seriously doubt that a bee can get through this. So, put this on. Okay. And top that, top that with a Gore-Tex jacket. It breathes. Can they get through Gore-Tex? I don't know. It's relatively thin. <clears throat> and the problem with this outfit, of course, is that I look like a dark rain cloud. So I bought something white. I don't have white clothing. It doesn't make sense for me to have white clothing. But in this case, I wanted to keep the white cloud thing going. And uh, just don't pay attention to me. There's some little white cloud. So I've got some extra large pants here. And this shirt here I picked up for a whole dollar. So you can't beat that. It's a little oversized. But hey, for a buck, we'll do this. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's bulky. All right, now I think I'm in the white cloud phase. Kind of unusual around here. We usually have dark clouds. But yeah, white clouds. Then we have here, it's one wrap Velcro. You don't have to have two pieces. It goes anywhere. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this around my ankles. Oh, yeah like that because bees like to crawl up and I do not want them crawling up my pant legs. Excuse me. Alrighty here. There we go. We also have them for the cuffs. In my case it'll 
keep them from falling over my hands, I guess. So we put these around here, huh? Might be a trick. Okay. Then, of course, you'd wear your boots. I splurged and bought a beekeeper's hat because I do not want the bees going into my my clothing and my neck, that and in my hair. That would bother me, I think. But it's pretty straightforward here. And then it has this cord. Oh, this goes around here. Okay. And uh, yeah, you can just kind of step through this and bring it on around. Kind of brings out my feminine side, I think. Oh yeah. Alrighty. Dress for success in the beekeeping world. We're getting there. And then one last thing we need, heavy duty gloves. I got these at the hardware store, plastic, Atlas, vinyl, vinyl love. Hmm, vinyl love. Hmm. Interesting, okay, well, let's see if we can get these on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now, okay, and with that, and our bucket of goodies, I'd say we're ready to land on the moon at least.